Hi guys, um, so I thought I'd do a quick hamster organisation video today. Um, it's been requested by quite a few people. Um, so Peanut is just asleep at the moment. It's about nine o'clock in the morning, so I'm not going to wake him up. Um, so he's just in this iMac Fantasy cage and he's got one extension pack on it. Um, and he sits on this Ikea table and then just underneath the table has all of his organisation stuff. Um, so I'll show you that now. So in this box has got his main food, and um, so he's got Harry Hamster and the Burgess Hamster Harvest, and I just mix that in together. And it's just in this little box, which was from Asda, and it comes with a little scoop. I think it was about three pound. So that's that. And um, so then in this box. It's got his name there, Peanut. <laughs> um, has all of his like treats and essential stuff. So I'll just open the lid. Um, so first he's got the paper flight pet bedding. And this is the bedding that I use for um, Peanut and the gerbils. And I really like this bedding. And I found that you can get it in like different colours now. Because you can used to only get it in blue. Um, but I got it in yellow yesterday. <laughs> which was pretty cool. So that is suitable for guinea pigs, hamsters, gerbil and mice. Uh, the next thing he's got is, that's the Burgess Super Hamster Hamster Harvest. So that's the food that I mix in with the Harry Hamster. And I just got another big bag of Harry Hamster as well. Um, just because this was really cheap, so I just stuck it on it. And the next thing I got is the... Supreme Science Selective Hamster with oats and barley and this is just like a pellet form hamster food um, which I don't give him I don't give this to him all the time I just tend to give it him as a treat um, but he really enjoys them uh, it's got no added sugar no artificial colorants um, it's, it's a unique baked mono component recipe um, you just can read through that and I'll open the bag and show you what they look like and open the back. Um, so these are the pellets um, and I tend to put about two in a day and he always picks them up and puts them in his pouches. Yeah, and he really like he really enjoys them. So that's them. The next thing I've got is the potty litter that I use for him. Um, I think it's the super pet potty litter. Um, you can get it from pets at home and I just store it in this jar just to keep it fresh. The next thing he's got are the pets at home wild berry drops and these are suitable for rabbits, guinea pigs, rats and hamsters um, but I never give these to my rabbits just because the first ingredient on the ingredients list is various sugars and I don't like giving my rabbits sugar. Um, so he gets about one um, every two weeks I'd say so I've got the wild berry drops and then also got the apple drops as well um, which is suitable for the same pets but still I don't give them my rabbits I just give them to my hamster next thing I got are mealworms um, I usually uh, mix these up into his muesli food but he always leaves them <laughs> he never eats them to be honest so these usually just go to my gerbils because my gerbils absolutely love mealworms next thing i've got are the fenugreek crunches and um, so all my pets get these so i just store them in a little jar and these little jars are from ikea um i think they're four pound no four for one pound 89 yeah so i tend to break these down into either halves or quarters for him just because they're quite big and he tries to stuff them in his pouches. <laughs> uh, next thing I've got are just some banana chips and um, all my pets get these as well so I just store them in a little container for him and I also break these down as well. Uh, next thing i got are just some of the cheesy bites the pedigree ones and um, they're for dogs but you can also give them to the hamsters and my dogs absolutely adore them and my hamster really likes them as well and so he's just got a little stash in this jar 
um, and I give him one a week and they're just a nice little size for him they're pretty small so yeah I bought them a couple of days ago because I saw them in quite a few people's videos and um, so I thought I'd give them a go and he really enjoys them and um, so this is just the top of his potty I never really put it on there I just tend to put the tray bit inside um, just because the holes are pretty small and he's a Syrian hamster he's quite a big Syrian hamster he's not fat or anything he's just um, a bit bigger um, but I think it's more suitable for dwarf hamsters so I just take it off he doesn't really need to be on there um, that is just a part of the from one of the tunnels because I don't have the other tunnel on the second floor just because he can hop up himself uh, then in this little box oh, focus <laughs> just got some mixed fruit some mixed dried fruit from pets at home and I've got and um, this is a potty litter that came with the potty but I don't use this one I just tend to use the the white stuff because he always goes on that and um, I've just kept that one and then the little potty scoop which I never use as well I just tend to empty the potty every other day and uh, he's got some more dog biscuits and these ones are from pets at home and they're just 50p a pack and they're chicken flavour and he really likes them as well then I've just got some wood chews he doesn't tend to chew a lot of things really um he has to ha he has been to the vets to have his teeth trimmed um i've had quite a few hamsters in the past and he's the only one really oh focus camera there we go um he's the only he's the only one really that doesn't tend to chew anything so i put so many different chew toys in for him and he just doesn't not chew anything so um yeah i always have to check his teeth because hamsters teeth do grow all the time so he has been to the vets once to get him trimmed but yeah I just put so many different chew stuff in for him but he just doesn't chew anything except for his food so um, yeah anyway this is a, another bag clip that I used ooh, to just put on top of bags when they've been open to keep them fresh that's everything in there um, and then I've just got a spare food bowl and um, he's got his little heart one at the moment um, yeah, just, so that one was from Wilkinson's, I think it was a pound and then I've got the Beefer hamster vitamin solution which he's never had, um, I used to have another hamster and sadly we had to have him put down about two and a half months ago um, he was a rescue hamster, well if you didn't know um, just before Christmas, my mum found him in the streets and um, we called him Fival. And he was quite an old hamster and someone had dumped him around my mum's work. So we took him in Um he had quite a lot of problems. He had like gunky eyes and um, so he had to keep giving eye drops um, and he had blood in his wee. Um, so he was back and forwards at the vets and the vets didn't really know what was wrong with him. Um, he had a few x-rays to see if it was um, bladder stones and it wasn't. Um, so then <clears throat> he just gave us like some antibiotics and painkillers. Um, yeah and sadly um, we found a massive tumour on his chest. So he had um, also Cushion's disease so he was really really unwell. And someone had dumped him just in the street because they couldn't be bothered to take care of him, which is such a shame. Um, and it was just around Christmas as well. So we looked after him the best that we could for the, I think we had him for about two, three months. Um, yeah, and suddenly we had to have him put down just because he was so ill and the vet recommended it. Um, yeah, and it was such a shame. But at least he had a happy life with us for those two, three months. But he was such a cute little hamster. And um, anyway, these are the vitamins that I used to put in his water. Um, and he didn't tend to drink a lot, of, a lot of water and eat a lot. So, yeah, we just um, put a couple of drops of these in 
is water. Um, yeah, so um, these just these have just been passed on to peanuts, but I've never put these in his water really. I don't like using them because just because they make the water stale. Um, yeah, so that's all in that box. And uh, finally, I've just got some bonios in this jar. And sometimes I put them in hold like that just because it's funny seeing him try to um, take it up into the tubes. But yeah, I usually just break them in half and they'll just have a little nibble of them. And he really likes them as well. Yeah, so that's all of my organisation for peanuts. Um, the bedding that I use for him is Megazorb, but that is down in the shed because it's in such a big bag. Um, and he's just got his water bottle as well. Um, yeah, so that's everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Bye.